Hey everybody, it's Chris Eads, known online as Boutini, here with another Gay Gamer video podcast. Um, this week, quick movie review, very quick movie review. I went to see Parasite, uh, which everyone had been raving about, but since it was only playing in like two theaters, uh, well, two AMC theaters, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I couldn't get tickets for the opening weekend, but it opened wider the following weekend, and I was able to go, and um, it's great. It is, it is a really good movie. Um, it's hard to talk about because I don't even want to describe any of the plot. Um, I mean, the basic plot is, like, known, and I went into it knowing the basic plot, but there are, are a bunch of shocking twists and turns that happened, and by the end of the movie, you're just like... So, uh, just go see it. It's really good. Um, as for gaming, um, I am still playing Dragon Quest XI. I'm still loving it. And it turns out that uh, what I was talking about last week with all the super gay Silvando stuff, that didn't last as long as I wish that it would have. I want a Silvando spin-off game, please. Thank you. Um, but then I found myself playing as Jade, and then Eric, and then Rab. Um, there was no Veronica or Serena level, uh, because, I guess, because you just die constantly, because those characters are kind of useless if they're not in a group. Um, so, it turns out that all these little solo adventures, these little solo vignettes, those are all brand new to the Switch. Because a friend of mine was like, I don't remember any of this with Silvando. And I'm like, yeah, it's right there. It's the first thing that happens. And he's like, no, it's not. What? And I found out this was some new content for the Switch, which I am super psyched about because it's legit content as opposed to just the Talkington, the 2D Talkington bonus fan service levels. Um, like this was, I was like, oh, okay. And then after a few solo adventures, uh, I came back as the main character, sort of. And um, then that's where it picks back up in the game that everyone else played previously. Um, so... It's worth playing it on the Switch just for the Salvando section alone, because it was so fabulous. Um, but I'm still enjoying it. Um, I'm still having a great time. Um, I know there's still a lot left to play. Um, but I have also found that it's not as difficult as I'd feared. Uh, getting to a point where the game, where I can save the game, or the game will autosave, in order to go and play Ring Fit Adventure. Because... After picking up Ring Fit Adventure on Friday, last Friday, well, two Fridays ago, um, I've been playing it literally every single day. So I'm super psyched. Um, I'm still enjoying it. Um, my main complaint is still there's no, like, cardio. Like, when I play it, I will very often find myself sweating after, you know, 20 minutes of it. I'll be sweating. It is a workout. But my Fitbit doesn't count it as a workout because it's not a minimum of 15 minutes of sustained elevated heart rate. Your heart rate will drop while you're navigating menus and such. So one time I tried doing just some quick play exercises, and that's great because you can just pick and choose whatever you want to do, but it doesn't count towards your daily workout, which is annoying. Um, Whereas when you do the custom routines, you can say, okay, I want to do some cardio or, or stamina or whatever they called it. And you click that and it populates one of the custom workouts with like the half a dozen random exercises and says, here, let's try these. And you're like, okay, fine, let's do that. So you go and you do those exercises. And when you go to start the first one, it's like, hey, let's warm up. And I'm like, great. And then I did the exercises, and it was not even seven minutes of actual timed activity in the corner. And it's like, okay, let's cool down. And I'm like, no, 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 seven minutes is not a good enough workout. Let me do some more. So I'm like, skip the cool down. Although I will also say that I appreciate that the warm up is always the same, but depending on what you've done during your workout that day, during that session, the cool down will vary and it will work your arms more, it'll stretch more of your arms, it'll stretch more of your legs, depending on what you've been focused on during your gameplay. So I appreciate that, that's very helpful. 
um, making sure that you're stretching out the correct muscles that you have just used. Um, but I just wish that when you started it, it would let you do a warm up and then just do whatever. If you wanted to do a few quick exercises, then play a level of the game, and then maybe do a custom routine, then cool down. And it would all be one session. You know, as soon as you start playing the game, do a warm up, then do whatever you want to do, then do a cool down and call it a day. And it would all be totaled. But playing the quick play exercises or the challenges in there, it doesn't count. So it's kind of like annoying and why would I do that? Except whatever, I'll still do it and then I just won't have a screenshot of my total time playing to post to Twitter as I've been doing. Also, um, the, the, the quick play challenges, um, you can't compare yourself, you can compare your scores to your friends and I don't know if you can compare it to like just the world in general. I really only want to compare to my friends because I'm sure the world would be better than me. But you can't do that unless you're a member of the online service. And I haven't paid for the online service because I figured I'll just wait until Animal Crossing because I don't play online with my Switch. Um, Animal Crossing is going to be the first thing that I play online with. So I was going to wait until then. But now I'm sort of like, I do kind of am curious how I'm ranking against the other people on my friends list that I know are playing this game. And I'm sort of kind of curious because that's another way to like motivate you because you'll be like, oh, they're just slightly ahead of me on, you know, the chest press. Let me just do it again and I'll just, you know, beat them, you know, and, and it gets you motivated. It's just another way to motivate. Um, but I do wish that there was more cardio um, because the running is useless because you're stopping every three seconds to vacuum something up or to fight an enemy or... Uh, in certain levels where there's like a frickin' minecart and you're just tilting from side to side to avoid obstacles, the, 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 the zip line was not bad because with the zip line you had to hold, you had to squeeze the ring together and after a while, like if you let go, you would slow down and stop. You had to keep it pressed in in order to keep moving. And after a while, it was a long zip line. And after a while, holding this in so long with the resistance, my shoulders were feeling the burn. Um, so that one was legit. But I still would rather have, like, a running level. I wish that they... I mean, maybe there's something later in the game that I'll unlock at some point. But I would like, like, an endless running level. Where all you do is run. And there's no, like, jumping. There's no, Well, you can maybe have some jumping. But it's just constant running. And you get in a rhythm. And you can, like, you know, shoot crates and suck up bonus coins and items as you go. And you can just keep running until you feel like you're done. And then you can just press stop. And then it'll say, okay, you've run for 20 minutes, you know. And just to have a nice cardio running workout where you've got some distractions of the scenery and you can, you know, shoot some crates and stuff, that would be, I would like that. I, that that's a level I would like to play. Doesn't seem to exist yet, but what are you going to do? Um, I haven't really lost a lot of weight. I think I'm down a couple of pounds from when I first started. Um, but I do feel like it's working, and I am working out, and my arms and shoulders do feel like, you know, I'm... That resistance of that ring is, is, is legit sometimes. It doesn't seem like much, but after you've done a bunch of the exercises, it's good. Um, I don't really know how long the game is. I'm hoping that you can double back. I mean, there's already things where, like, I couldn't do certain things. And once I get a new power, I'm clearly meant to go back and do other things that I couldn't do the first time through, because I couldn't jump that high and whatever. Because um, I'm just concerned that after the game is over and you've defeated Dragger, like, then what? Can you play it again? Because the, the game is really helpful because you're doing exercises, but since it's part of a game, it's kind of distracting, and it distracts you from the fact that you're doing exercises. Um, whereas just doing the exercises, you're just working out, and then it's just we Fit. And it's, you know, it's fun to make it into a game, you know? So, we will see, because I am still playing it. I, last week, I was playing it after work, but it was kind of annoying or whatever. And this week, I'm going, because you end up sweating and I have to take another shower. So this week, I'm going to attempt, I'll let you know how, next episode, I'll let you know how it turns out because I'm going to try to get up a little earlier in the morning and do it. Um, we'll see how that works, because getting up 
I'm going to have to get up extra early if I want to play the game because it takes a long time. Like, I played for almost a half an hour of exercise time, but that took almost an hour of real time in order to get, you know, 28, 30 minutes of exercise time. So doing the custom routines is a, a faster way to just work out because um, you're not watching cutscenes and going through menus and doing all kinds of nonsense. Um, so I feel like if I'm playing it in the morning, I'm probably going to lean more towards doing the custom routines instead of the game because the game's going to take too long and I will only get like eight minutes of workout in. But I'll let you know how all that goes next time. So see you then. Bye!